every design must solve a problem. Every design must communicate a message. Design is not about it is fine. It's not about the the aesthetic, like it's, it's very beautiful. It's not about the combination of color, which are also part of design. But design is more of functionality. And a successful design must pass a message. So I saw this design on pin interest. I don't know if this is the original designer. I just saw it right here. So I'm going to replicate it. Of course, we know the original designer do it. Tag along. I want to show you how you can create this design from the scratch, all right? From the scratch. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Do it to like this video, subscribe so that you can get more content like this. My name is Nia Muda, and we're beginning right away. The first thing we want to do is to get our background. But before that, I also want to get this original design again right here so i'm going to put it right here then i'm now going to bring in the background that i'm going to be using i know some of you have been so worried asking a lot of questions how i get my background if you register for the church flower design course which the link is going to be in the description i'm going to show you how to get any kind of background is that okay Alright, so this see what I'm going to do right now. Now, this design here, look at it. If you notice, there are some shapes like this. Look at them here. Yeah. Alright, look at them here. Yeah. So, like this. Are you seeing that now? Then we will just duplicate. Sorry, bring it back there. We'll copy and put the other one there. Copy and put this one there. Copy and put this one there. So basically, we are going to duplicate it into C's. Now, as we duplicate, we make sure that there are the the space between them they are equal. So we will use one of them as the yardstick. So I'll click ensure that it is at the top. Right, this one now we have to come to the side a little and then hop. Right, this one we have to go to the top and come back here. This one we have to go to the top and come back here. All right, it means that we are done with this guy. Hmm? Now, what are we going to do next? What we're going to do next is to make everything one color what i mean is this i'm going to come here i'm going to one two three four five six all right i'll make it one color all right so first i'll merge them together then we choose a color for it i don't want to red because the background has some little element of red so i want a total totally different color so let's use um let's use blue for example all right then let's bring in this background to the front then bring in this guy to the front too so we have something like we're going to mesh them together that is this and this meshed together if we mesh them together we're going to have this then it means that we'll be able to remove background from this particular also select the blue and remove the background i get me now then after i've done that we'll go and put the background of this black behind so we'll come here click here and select this color all right that color is going to be our background having done that we will now try to fix in the images behind these guys. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to remove this one. So this is what we have. So we try to fix it all the images. So let me show you again. 
so fixing all the images fixing all the images i'm going to bring in this one here all right so i have this guy i have this one here i'll crop it like this i'll crop it like this now all i all i need to do here is to bring it here reduce it so that it can fit in into four like this the way i'm the way i'm seeing it right now all right then all i have to do is to bring it down sorry bring it down ensure you like the video bring it down okay so that their names can be at the top there all right then what i'm gonna do next is this duplicate it so let's do it again for this two and um, we have this two so let's use this two i'm going to remove this man's picture because i think it has repeated repeated itself so we're just going to duplicate it reduce it and bring it here so it's going to be somewhere there so if this is having issue so we'll crop this one we'll crop these do it to like this video crop this then we can crop this also all right then we can bring this one here all right so that's that so i'll send it to the back i'll send this one to the back i'll send all these to the back if i do that this is what we have mind you this lady's picture which is this lady here is overlapping this other guy so we, we'll just click on it and crop a part of it after cropping it we'll move it like that all right the same thing with this one but it's not so obvious are you getting me now so after we've done this the next thing we're going to do now is this bring in this guy i'm going to bring in this guy if you notice the original design yeah you will see that um there is this faint effect so i'm going to bring you this guy here i will click here and i will go to the original design and pick the exact color so that different colors i can see here i can see the color blending with the person's shirt so i will just come over here i will pick this first man so this this one is going to blend down here so i'll just do it like this drag it in so let's say it for this and this bring it here and this and drag it here so we're going to do a lot of copying and pasting copy and paste here copy and paste here this one we can bring it here it's not bad bring this one here too bring this one here bring this one here um all right then bring this here bring this here bring this here so that's how i copy and paste everything like that all right okay so i'm going to do something now. i'm going to merge all these guys together so much like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17 okay so let's merge them together so if i merge them together i'm going to have this so i'm going to just come here and i'll reduce the opacity a little okay okay so something like that if you notice the edge is somehow so i'm going to stretch it like this all right then after that we're going to bring in the original image 
all right so we brought, we brought in the original image all right so for the for the pastors we're going to have something like this so we have the date and this whole information here so i'm going to come over here i'm going to copy this come on i'm going to copy this all right so i'll paste it here now if you are having issue pasting your design because maybe okay so that's that then i'm going to come here all these guys i'm going to copy all right i'm going to paste it here too all right i'll paste everything here like this okay so i'll do this do this then I will come here and select center. Okay. Reduce it. I would make it bold. Stretch it out like this. Alright, so let's check what we have here. So let's just come over here and see it by ourselves. So we have one, two, three. Led by Bishop Das and Das. Okay. We have three lines. We have three lines. So come here reduce this bring this here so click from here break it down all right so come over here select led by so from here so yeah You select a light color like this. Alright. Do it to like this video, then share it with a friend, and I'm going to do this. Alright, so this part here is going to have the registration dates details. Sorry. So I'm gonna come here. I will do this and paste it there. So we can use just one line, just like we have it here. Sorry, not there. Just like we have it here. All right, so after that, we want to do put in the information Ignite Conference. Let me show you what to do now. We are going to blend this old design to make it enter into this other one. That is this. So I, I, I brought this guy here. Which we're going to use to blend everything. So we're going to use this color. All right, we'll put it here. We'll copy it. Put it just around that place. All right. Then we can still copy. Put it around here. Let's just drag it around here. Uh, not too much, but just around this place. All right then i think that's okay all right so what we we'll do now we we'll bring in all this text back to the front all right so we bring in the word ignite so this guy here we're going to remove part of it so we'll come here like this remove this part yeah Okay, so we we'll reduce it, put it there. Alright, so I'm going to come over here and I'll add an outline, sorry, a shadow to it. The shadow I want to add to it is the shadow of this background. So I'm just going to do it like this. Alright, so we'll look for a font to use for the Ignite. So let's say Ignite. These are the spare Ignite, right? But the I, that is from, from, from what we have here, this particular I, the end, sorry, the N is not going to be there. So we we'll select this. 
use this font here no let's use this then let us use this not bad then let's internalize it all right then let's come over here and bring it the e out let's drag it like this all right so let's select the color from the original design this is the color though it looks like it is a great end actually all right then we we'll would remove the end so we'll just come over here and take out this end they give a space or two all right still give a space all right so that's that then we can centralize or readjust till we get what we want all right so i think the ignite is too big so reduce it a little then bring this guy to the front then position it there very well all right so that's that so check this design so we're not there check this you will see that the design has the background showing so let me quickly work on this guy here um this this sorry not this this one we'll bring this one to the front do it to like this design then we're going to come over here and make this bold all right then we're going to scratch it out so that it's going to increase the spacing and put it at the center thank you for watching my name is Nia Muda. so when you are done with your design you will do something else all right so see what what can we do is let's bring in let me show you what we can do um i'm gonna bring in this background so bring in this background fent it like this okay then drag it like this all right then try and send it to the back that is let's try something still still faint it a little more all right still faint it a little more then bring in all these guys to the front like this like this like this like this like this so this is what we have all right this is what we have when you're done go ahead and save your design and you're good to go but we can still make this guy a little bit more faint all right come here just make sure that it is not so covering everything so just faint it a little more thank you for watching today my name is Nia Muda and i will see you in the next video so we we have forgotten to put their names the names of all these guys here so that's going to be smith and the rest just put their names there like the video tell me where you're watching from all right and tell me if you've gone get get got anything from this video all right so that's how we go ahead and put it and when you're done your design just quickly click here click on save project all right save your project can see that there's something we're still missing at right so when you're done save your project then save as image and you can go to all the apps and enhance it but we're not doing that in this video thank you for watching i will see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe please like and subscribe share like and subscribe